a recent article in the Sydney Morning Herald posed this interesting question. In the age of Me Too, is it still okay to have sex on the first date? Mm. The author, Thomas <laughs> Mitchell, says that despite living in an age of sexual liberation, sex on the first date still suffers from a bad reputation. He says, quote, the typical narrative tells us it's a big no-no because there's some vague speech about around what people might think, how you might feel, and what might happen. So ladies, do you think due to the current climate with Me Too going on, people shouldn't be getting it on with someone that they just met? I don't think people understand what the Me Too movement is about. Yeah. yeah. Like, this is not about have sex, don't have sex. This is, don't be forced to have sex with people you don't want to have sex with. Like, two completely different things. Like, Me Too is about something so much greater. So it's about different. boundaries and yes. respect and having intimacy that's consensual. Correct. If well, this it's is not consensual... about, what you're saying is not about sex. You yeah. are absolutely correct. The yeah. Me Too movement is about someone taking advantage of someone yes. and correct. they think that they have power. Correct. So it has nothing to do with two consent consenting Central. adults. Yes. My thing is a one night stand could be fun yeah. if that's what you're into. Right. Okay? Yes. The problem is you have people that aren't into, they think they're into a one night stand, but, but they're, they're not. not. And then they be crying not later. Able to handle right. The yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. you know? And then drinking, they get, uh, they get in their feelings exactly. and drinking and too many of these. And then it's for very it. confusing. Well, if you know you want a relationship with someone, don't have a one night stand. If you know you're looking for a relationship, you know, and this is men and women both. I'm not gonna put it all just on women. That mm -hmm. they think that, okay, well, I have sex with this person, that's gonna get them. Honey, sex, it, any, it's so overrated. I mean, really, it's good, <laughs> but it's yes. so overrated. Without a connection, there's no connection. It's so much you know? bigger than just sex. Like, sex is not just gonna yes. keep somebody. Right. But to take it away from just sex, I've noticed since I'm, you know, creeping back into the dating game. Uh -huh. I've noticed Tell that my, me about it. So my <laughs> friends, my friends who have been hype on dating, they said a big shift has happened in dating. Tell me if your single friends have said this too. Okay. That back in the days, you know, um, most of the time, you would wait for someone to make the first move. Yeah. It might be on the first date, it might be the third date, whatever. It right. could be the man, it could be the woman. But now, all my friends have noticed that the man has stopped making the first move. All my girlfriends are like, they, they're waiting, it's a third date, fourth date, a week later, he hasn't gone in for the kiss. He doesn't do any touching or anything. And I've asked my dude friends that are single, right. and they are like, you don't know where a woman's gonna go with that store anymore. I ain't touching nobody. Oh, oh they... I have heard that. So, yeah, yeah I have heard that. There's something going on out there, and it, and it kind of, it sucks, because the Me Too movement is so strong and so, so powerful for the people that need it, but it shouldn't ruin the maturity that we should have within intimacy and relationships. Agreed. Got it. You know? yeah. So, yeah. they're afraid, even yeah. if the girl that they're with... This is what I'm hearing from my... Yes. They're yes. still they're still afraid of what might happen afterwards. Yes, my yes, because friends... sadly, if, if 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 you may be uh, aggressive, a little more aggressive than she thought you would be, it's like everything has to almost be communicated verbally before it happens physically. Like like, but she kind of takes the, the fun moment out of it. Like, imagine if every time, let's say I'm kissing her neck, and then maybe I want to nibble on it a little bit, like a little bite. I have to say um. Is it okay if I then... <laughs> <laughs> because because like, you manipulate, okay. she could be like, ah, dude, you bit me!